Blog Talk Radio. Unmarket Your Business, the podcast. Born out of the need to share strategies and techniques that really work to market your business. Think yellow page ads and cold calls are your only choices? That's so last century. You're about to learn tested, tried and true marketing techniques you can apply and master. Ones that feel authentic instead of salesy. Strategies that are true to who you are and how you want to present yourself to your ideal clients. Let's join our host, Carol Joyce Dunlop, in the studio now and allow business success to move forward. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. This is Carol J. Dunlop, your hostess with the mostess. I hope you're doing well. Guess what? We're about halfway through January. Can you believe that? Halfway through. Halfway through the beginning of the year, um, right into Q1. So I know that the guest that I have on today is going to help you get through because I know we had some rough times going through the last year, the end of last year. I mean, really, any time. I mean, who doesn't struggle with stuff, right? But have you ever heard of Grace Face? You're going to hear about that today. <laughs> this is my very entertaining, awesome, and fellow homegirl from South Carolina, uh, Erica Alcox, is coming on. Now, we had to actually pre record this because she is an educator, she works. And she was in the middle between classes, and she made time to do this podcast interview. I am so thankful to you, Erica. You are awesome. I mean, totally awesome. I mean, most of the people, just about all, I think, coming out of South Carolina are totally awesome. So I just have to say that. So before we proceed, I wanted to let you know that this podcast is being sponsored by Creative Services International. Is your website a wow or a whoa? All the pretty websites in the world are useless if they don't close deals. Tell me this. Do you capture the email addresses of your visitors? Do you have an amazing opt-in that your visitors can't wait to get their hands on? And do you share your expertise and knowledge on your blog? When your potential clients click through to your website, do they see a reflection of the true professional you are? Or do they see a site that's less than, not quite ready for prime time, or just doesn't even measure up. If your website doesn't do what I just talked about, you are missing out on money, plain and simple. Now let me share this with you. If your website is not becoming to you, then you should be coming to us. So get your WOW website today by going to csicorporation.com forward slash WOW dash websites, W-O-W dash websites. You can see the websites that we have created you can see all our clients that we worked with, a little sampling of them. I mean, there are too many to just put up there. And you can also fill out a form so that we can schedule a time to see what you need to do with your site. So go there, csicorporation.com forward slash wow dash website. And I have something very special for you at the very end of this. So stay tuned because Erica, did <laughs> she did us a great Grace Face T-shirt. And uh, she's going to talk all about it and what Grace Face is and how it helped her get through everything she's gone through and how she's soaring now. So without any further ado, let me bring her on, and I'll talk to you after the interview. We are here today with Erica Alcox, and she's going to tell us her inspiring story of how she wasn't living the life she wanted, to how she is now on her way to living her best life ever. Hey, Erica, are you here? Uh, yes, I am. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for this. I'm so excited. You know, uh, we, I guess we met each other through a group, mm-hmm. and then we met live when we were at the TSP game plan. Yes. And it, it was it was just so like crazy, wild, oh, my God, let's go record now. <laughs> but then we couldn't get back together to do it because we were meeting so many people and talking and stuff. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Thank but, you so much for having me. Oh, you're quite welcome. I couldn't wait to hear your story. So without any further ado, I'm going to let you take the stage and mm-hmm. talk about your, you know, fantastic, amazing journey to get where you are today. So you've got the floor. Well, when we think about 
um, the journey that I've been on, I, I will tell you that it didn't start out as amazing um, or, or <laughs> wonderful, you know, when it comes to feelings, but we know that feelings aren't facts. I am a um, Charleston native, Charleston, South Carolina. Oh, and, I'm from South Carolina, too. Get out of here. All right. Oh. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I am a, an educator by, by trade, by, you know, my career. Mm -hmm. And that evolved into just, I, I have an affinity. I'm addicted to motivating people. I mean, I am seriously addicted to it because there are times where I have to pull myself back um, from, <laughs> wait a minute, everybody, everybody don't want to do that right now, Eric, just, so just chill out. <laughs> uh, but um, my, my path was one of where I was a teacher from 98 all the way up until 2012. And there were a series of events that kind of shook things up. And mm -hmm. I left. I had mm -hmm. to leave on, on my terms um, right. because I don't let anyone write my story for me. So I left before anyone could, could infiltrate my, my story. And I, um, you know, the bottom kind of fell out. I hit rock bottom. Um, where When the direct deposit stops, then, you know, things get a little tricky. Right. And when you have kind of run through your savings and, and all of your emergency funds, things get trickier. <laughs> Uh, and yeah. during that whole whole time, you know, to kind of spare the details, you know, across, along the way, there were nights where I slept in my car, and I am a right. solo parent, you know, right. I, I have no help from my son's father, and, um, you know, it, it, it builds character, um, right. it, it also builds up some of your debt, <laughs> yes. and, oh. and you have these choices that eventually become a behavior when you when you do it for so long yeah. um and it messes with your mindset and you go from a mindset of conquering things to ooh, can i just survive another 24 hours so right. now you're moving from doing things that have longevity into things that um are temporary just to get through and those survival skills are great for the moment but for the in the long run, it, it messes you up a little bit because now you're not building anything that has any staying power per se. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that journey helped me to, you know, shake off some stuff. That spirit of discernment is very uncomfortable because you're going to see a lot of things that you don't want to see, but you need to see. And mm -hmm. that's kind of how Okra Soup Truth uh, was born because Oprah, nobody really likes the way it looks, it's not very appealing to look at. And when you cut it, you see all of the slime and you can't get past that. And but then when you throw that okra into a pot of stew, I know I know you know what I'm talking about. I do. It I think my mouth out. is watering right now. <laughs> <laughs> and you, we have to get together. I have to uh, make you a, a pot of my okra soup. But um, oh, yeah. When, when you put that okra into a pot, whether it's a, a soup or a pot of collard greens or, or whatever, it thickens the pot up. And anybody who has any experience inside of the kitchen knows that when a liquid starts to thicken, the flavor intensifies. It gets so much more delicious. So mm -hmm. okra soup truth is that uncomfortable but necessary conversation that you need to have. It don't feel good at first, but when you get to the other side of that discomfort, you're so mm -hmm. appreciative. You're you're a, a lot better than what you started, and mm -hmm. it's all worth it. So with Okra Soup Truth, um, you know I, I invite people into conversations, not confrontation, um, <laughs> and and you know it's things like that that I get people to to think of that this is not not to attack you, but to make you see, to kind of open your eyes up, and not from a preachy preachy standpoint but from a speaking from experience let me empathize with you uh -huh. and that's one thing that my journey has allowed me to do is to gain that that superpower of empathy because when you empathize then you now know how to respect people's learning curves I can't mention how many times I've seen people coming from a holier than thou approach where you can kind of tell either they you know have a, a you know, uh, unfortunate arrogance right. about the way that they present information, um, mm -hmm. or you can tell that they haven't been through anything that you've been through, and how are you going to, you know, tell me what to do when you haven't been through it? Right. So, you know, I, I make sure that during my journey and marketing myself, 
as a certified personal life coach and educator, you know, doing classes, a business coach, all of these things. In the process of marketing myself, I pretty much expose myself. I Mm. let people see my flaws. I let people see my mistakes. And people are like, oh, you shouldn't tell. Mm -mm, mm -mm." I need people to understand I'm human. I need people to understand that if they see how I've messed up, you don't have to make those same mistakes. Um, And I'm so confident in my strengths that I am completely okay with exposing my areas of improvement. Because any wise person will tell you if something is continuously a weakness, then you're not really working to improve it. So I, oh, yeah. I, need, I need the game plan for how to turn <laughs> something that, that's not so much, you know, a strength of mine and, and turn it into something stronger. I need right. to, it, when right. you have, uh, you know, in your home and you start to get a smell somewhere, where is that smell coming from? You don't <laughs> just say, well, eventually it'll go away. No, you're going to go look for the funk so you can get rid of it. Right. And that's how we need to approach the the areas of improvement, you know, in our lives. Don't run from it. Don't run from wondering why your credit score is so low. Don't run from wondering why you keep getting NSFE. Don't keep running from, oh, this relationship is draining me. Why are you so drained? You know, go and find out and also be accountable for the foolishness that you are bringing in on your own. Oh, say that again. You know, you oh, my to, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm that telling again. you, that, 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 that self-check, I do it often and I do it publicly because I want people to, to see it normalized. I want people to see going to a therapist being normalized, especially in the African-American community. It's so taboo. You know, right. we, we want to brush things up underneath the carpet. Well, you brush enough stuff up underneath the carpet, you're going to have a lumpy carpet, carpet and you're going to bust up. <laughs> tripping up oh, over yeah, so, that's not true. so that that is all in a sense of how I market myself is by just living my life transparently as much as possible I mean I keep some things to myself because you have to have a sense of privacy with some things but right. for the most part I want people to be able to not only be inspired but be motivated to move towards things that they need to and, and want to do you know, when someone tells me, oh, you inspire me so much, I'm like, okay, so what are you doing with that inspiration? Did you just feel good for a moment or did you actually put some things into action? Because, you know, I'm flattered that you're inspired, but I'm not moved by you not moving. So if you want to make me feel real good, let me know it's real by showing me your results. Move from the rhetoric to the results. And um been an exciting journey now that the, the hard part of the moment is is over because um, I guess, you know, and it's safe to say it now, again, uh, I try to move past some things, but um, for four months while being fully employed as an educator, I was living in a hotel with my son. There were a couple Mm -hmm. of nights where we stayed in my car because, you know, trying to, working to get yourself up from rock bottom, there's that stage where you still need a little help. And, you know, your credit score has taken a hit. Your savings account has taken a hit. And, you know, when you're working to become better, you still have to meet certain standards of, of, you know, the the rental property or, you know, being able to get this account open so that you can take care of things. And they look at where you are now and they say, oh, Mm -hmm. we we can't really do anything for you. You know, they don't take into account. All they see are the numbers on the paper. And you can't Mm -hmm. blame them because business is business. But, you know, right. that, that small transition, I, I was very transparent on social media, and I was sitting in my classroom, and I said, I can't do this on my own anymore. I need some help. Can somebody help me? I'm sleeping in the car or either living uh, in the hotel and need some help because this is, this is not going to be our lives. And overwhelmed with students from 98, complete strangers. I didn't even know I had message requests on my Instagram inbox. And I had gobs and gobs of people just wanting to support me. I've been blogging since 2010. And mm-hmm. so across those years, I gained a, a, a following, I guess. And, well, you know, I guess I, I gained, a, gained a following. I gained support. <laughs> yeah, own it. Own it, girl. Own it. You know, I'm going to own it. And I'm, I'm so honored that people find 
comfort in my words. They find comfort in my action. They find comfort in me doing an ugly cry on social right. media, you know. Right. So so all of it, and, and they support stuff. Even when I put my students' work on social media, uh, mm-hmm. that's how Charleston Crunch Company was born. The recipes that I use inside of the classroom to teach leadership, leadership skills and math skills and reading comprehension, you know, it goes beyond baking cookies. It's how do you manage your time so that you can get this much, uh, these many orders together within this amount of time for this amount of money? Do the math. How are you going to promote it? How are you going to work together? Who's your key person? Who's the person that's going to get this done? You know, and I'm sitting in my classroom right now, and we have a lab today. So, you know, on social media, y'all can vote on, on you know, who's doing a, a good job with presentation and, and all of that good stuff. So that's – I, I – consider myself a disrupt because I don't do things conventionally. I disrupt as much as I possibly can because... Me too. I love to disrupt things. Yes. Yes. (laughs) I mean, when when things begin to take the same routine over and over and over again, you become numb to it. You know? How many times have we taken the same route home and the car can pretty much drive itself? Your brain is somewhere else. You're like, wait a minute, how did I get here? Because right, you become exactly. numb to it. Yeah. And being numb is dangerous. Uh, mm-hmm. I have an ebook called From Numb to No because oh. you have to understand that when you become numb, you are now removing your presence. You're not present in the moment. And right. being numb, if you think of a leg, if it's numb and you can't feel anything, then you can't tell when something is endangering the safety of that leg. It's, you know, you didn't realize you stepped on a a piece of glass and now you're bleeding outside of your foot because your leg and your foot is numb. So it's dangerous right. to be numb to things. Be present. Use your voice and and have people to respect your voice. And if people can't respect your voice, then they don't need your voice. Move on. You know? That's so true. So true. So. Erica, I know we're getting down to a time that you have to go. Before mm-hmm. we get to the end, I was going to ask you a question, but I want you to tell everyone how they can get in touch with you, how they can reach you, and who are the people that you work with. Okay. Well, you can go to my website, okrastouptruth.com. That's O-K-R-A, soup, S-O-U-P, truth, T-R-U-T-H, okrastouptruth.com. And I'm the same on Instagram at Okra Soup Truth. Uh, you can also go to Charleston Crunch Co. Co. Dot com and always take and orders for Chucktown Chewy's the best in the world. If you don't know what a Chewy <laughs> is, it's what a brownie wants to be when it grows up. But it's oh my more gosh. <laughs> it's no chocolate <laughs> involved, you know. So oh my gosh. and 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 it's just wonderful. You can also, I mean, I have so many different um, different outlets. And Facebook won't let me change my Facebook page from Geechee Girl. <laughs> it's open uh-huh. to truth just yet. But if uh-huh. you look up hashtags, I, I'm, I have a nice little footprint on social media. So Facebook uh-huh. page is Geechee Girl, G-E-E-C-H-I-E-G-U-R-L. And there's a group. Uh-huh. I'm on Instagram as Open Street Truth again, um, Geechee Girl TM. I'm everywhere that, that, that I need to be. And if there's somewhere you feel I need to be, send me a line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's right. Send me a oh, line my and let me know so I can be in the building, too. Um, and email is oprasouptruth at gmail.com. Um, I'm, I'm excited about 2019. I was excited about 2018, and I'm still grateful for being able to go through what I consider one of the darkest phases of my life. I know there are more things to come, but to put it all in perspective, I had to check myself and say, you know what? You didn't just come with no regular, regular little chinchy little goal. You got some big aspirations you're working towards. So why do you think you're going to go through little small things? If right. you're trying to get to something big, <laughs> if you're trying to get to the top of Mount Everest, don't expect to walk no flat plain. You're going to have to climb, boo-boo. Come, come yep. on and climb. So yep. that's what we do. I, I create rock climbers, and, and shout out to all of my rock climbers who are in my Rock Bottom University, my free uh, workshop intensive uh, support group with uh, life coaching coming and, and they are having breakthroughs that, that just make me tear up. So I wanted to make sure I acknowledge them because it's not easy to 
acknowledge the mess that we are in and the mess that we put ourselves in and, mm-hmm. and to work through that. So um, I invite everyone to just come on through. Let's, let's climb together. I love that. I, I love your um, enthusiasm. And I have, I have to be honest, when we first started, I just knew I wanted you to tell your story because I, I saw you share it on, um, in the group that we're in, um, mm-hmm. TSP Live. And I was very moved by it. So today had no real agenda other than to inspire others to be better, to take a look at their own life, see where they are, even their business, see where their business is. And you said some, you said so many nuggets, but one thing was you said um, we don't often uh, take ownership of the mess that we put ourselves in, but we're still willing to cry and whine and moan about it. But right. what else are we doing? Are we making right. plans to get out of it? Or are we looking like, you know, whatever? So thank you for those golden, I think they're platinum. Thank you for those platinum Ooh. nuggets that you dropped. Mama, I made golden. it. Mama, I made it. Platinum. <laughs> thank you so yes. much. Because we all need it. You know, we all yeah. think at some point in our life that, you know, oh, woe is me, whatever. But mm-hmm. the oh, woe is me mm-hmm. can turn into, hey, look at me. Because, right, you right. know, we go through so many things that we don't give ourselves credit for. And the little, even the littlest, smallest little things that we make, uh, the goals that we accomplish, the things that we do, we need, and we need to sit down and just look at that. You mm-hmm. know, what, whether we done and celebrate that, celebrate how right. awesome we are in our brilliance. So, yeah. Any last words you'd like to say? Because I know you got just a couple minutes before we go. Right. Um, the only thing that I can think of is is that give yourself some grace. You know, when you fall on your face. Give yourself some grace. <laughs> fail, <laughs> fail forward, you know. And mm-hmm. and matter of fact, I'm gonna put that on a t-shirt, and I need everybody to go and and buy that t-shirt and oh, and, no, that's right. and wear it so that we can encourage everybody. You go to okrasoupcrew.com. I'm gonna have that t-shirt up by the by the end of this day. And okay. let's see what what shall we use as a discount code? Unmarket. Let's use a discount All code. Right, Unmarket. Yeah. <laughs> and, and and watch what happens to your shopping cart when you put it in there. So go to mm-hmm. okrasouptruth.com, get the follow on your face, give yourself some grace. You, however I mentioned it, you'll see the shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'll come <laughs> back to you. in Unmarket and watch what happens to your shopping cart and, and let's get it. And and just to let people know that every time they shop with Okrasoup Truth, I know people are, oh, there goes the pitch, there goes the pitch. But understand <laughs> that, you know, Money is a necessary evil, and it doesn't have to be evil when you do good with it. Because right. uh, you saw that I brought two students with me to the conference this um, past weekend. Right. And to be able to have two young men who are seniors, um, two young African American students who are seniors, they both come from single parent homes. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we have our challenges. Not to say that two parent uh, households don't have their challenges, but we, we know. It, the the story and right yeah yeah mm-hmm. to see their faces light up we hadn't even been in the room five minutes mm-hmm. and the nuggets that were being dropped I saw a transformation that that I that's what I was want that was my goal so I had picked, right picked, picked I, I'm telling you to have their lives. yeah when you said that you said well I have I have these two young men here mentoring them and then to see what Ronnie and Lamar did with the foundation and they raised $20,000 for a group that helps young people. And plus all the magnificent speakers they had and the people, it was really just amazing. And I could see how they were like, I found Wakanda type Mm -hmm. of thing. Right. It was really amazing. And to see all that success in one room, in one area, in one Mm -hmm. place, and you were up close and personal with it. That Mm -hmm. I think that was bravo for you. They need yeah, to bravo see for that. you for bringing for bringing them in because we need to mentor our kids in a way where we say not where we say to them not just I hope or you can but we show them people that says look at them they're doing this and you can meet them you can talk to them and they see that they're just regular ordinary people that gives you the mm-hmm. oh my God if they can do it I know exactly that I can do it so you are to be commended for not just you know up next level in your own life, but the lives of others. And you will be truly blessed for that. I mean, I know you already are, but you're going to be mm-hmm. blessed beyond measure for the things that you are doing. So just keep up that great work that you're I will. That you Thank you so on. much. Thank you so much. 
Thank you, and thank you for joining us and for being on here. We will, you know, when you get some good stuff going, you are welcome back anytime. Come and report because we're here. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Everybody heard that now. I don't know the training orders. I'm like, hey. No, uh-uh. <laughs> I mean it. Thank you so much, and we'll talk again soon. All right. Have a good one. We'll right, do it right. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Okay, so you heard that interview wasn't it inspiring and awesome and amazing. And if you hear background noise, they are like doing the grass outside. So um, I was so appreciative and still am appreciative to Erica Alcott for coming and sitting down with the, sitting down with me and sharing her story, which is so inspiring. And as we mentioned on, on the interview, that we were both there at the. Um, game plan, TSP Live game plan, and she said, you know, I have these two young men here. It, it was just so, it was so crazy because we had some other people who stood up and said, I've never been around this this many, you know, successful African-American businesses or this many African-American businesses, period. So that was very inspiring and awesome. So I know that, I know that other cultures have issues and problems and stuff, but, you know, being African-American myself, I got a whoop whoop for my, for my peeps, you know what I'm saying? So it was totally awesome, and I want to say that I was totally inspired from a Ronnie and Lamar Tyler who put this on. So as you, mentioned, as you heard, we got a great I want you to go get a great T-shirt, and Erica was true to her word. Right after she came off of there, she designed the T-shirt. She put it up. It is good to go. So you know, it, it's just awesome. And so what I did was I have a link directly to there. And if you go to csicorporation.com forward slash okra, O K R A, one of my most favorite vegetables in the world, and she knows what I'm talking about there. And if you've never, if you don't like okra, I, I just feel bad for you. I feel bad. So go to csicorporation.com forward slash okra. It'll take you right to the exact page so you can get your t-shirt. And she, you actually, if you enter the code word, which is unmarket, <laughs> how awesome is that, right? Anyway, enter the, t-shirt, enter the code word unmarket. You get a 20 per, you get to save 20% off that T-shirt. So I want you to go there now, and I want you to help her do what she does best, and that is to soar, to inspire, to really disrupt, because I I love that disrupt thing. So that's all I have for you. Um, Join me next week for another great episode. And remember, today's podcast is sponsored by Creative Services International. Is your website a wow or a woe? All the pretty websites in the world are useless if they don't close deals. And you're missing out on money if you don't have a WOW website. So let me share this with you. If your website is not becoming to you, then you should be coming to us. Get your WOW website at csicorporation.com forward slash WOW dash websites. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Erica, for inspiration and someone that we can all look up to. So join me again next time. That's all we got for now. See you then. Everyone stay safe out there. Thanks for listening. We truly appreciate it. For information about guests, products, or services that were mentioned in this episode, log on to our website at www.csicorporation.com slash unmarketing. To learn more, get a glimpse of our upcoming schedule, and join the unmarketing nation of entrepreneurs who are using marketing techniques that work right now. Until next time, keep moving forward.